Hey guys, I'm back. We are going to try this one more time. The last one I did turned out pretty good. I mean, not bad. But not exactly what I was looking for. Focus. Okay, so I got a new sinker white. So we're going to do a couple of these and try it one more time. All right. Then I give up. At least for a couple days. So I can get some videos out to you guys. Don't give up on me. And while I'm doing this, please hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If you are subscribed, thank you so much, guys. I really, really appreciate that. And there's a hair in that one. Oops. Let's go. Do I have enough for this one? I think I do. I'm filling these up because if they don't work, I don't want to waste the resin to back them. Although some of them I did back because I like them. They just weren't pretty. They had some blobs. Alright, let me get this off here. Where I drip it. Alright, I'm using three colors today. Sienna, which is like a brick red, brown type color. Let's do it first. I actually love this color. I make uh, my crushed mirror out of this color. And it's absolutely beautiful, the crushed mirror. So we'll see how it does in here. Okay. I'm going to use yellow. And I'm going to use blue. Good thing that's where that was going. Make sure that spreads. Oh, I like those colors together. Okay, and now. This is the sinker white. It has a little ball in it. And is it open? <gasps> it's open. Let me get rid of that because we don't need all that. I did not open it, so it must have come open. That's a lot of white on that one. Not sure how that's going to work. Okay, yeah, well, stuff happens. And I'm not using a whole lot of it because it will spread. And that's it for now. Uh, Daniel Waits, Daniel Cooper is the one that showed me this. If you've not seen uh, my other videos where I, I gave him credit for it. Um, he waits an hour. So that's what we're going to do. And I've got this one in the works over here. All I have done, can you see this one here? All I've done is uh, poured a layer of clear, 16 ounces of clear. And that is going to be 
the video after this, well, in between this one. So I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, welcome back. <clears throat> I have to apologize. Somehow where I swirled these last night, um, that footage is lost. So I'm just going to explain what I did. After an hour, and after you saw the white being put on, I came back and I just did some swirls in each of them. And it was real tacky, and it kind of had a skin on it, which is what you're supposed to have. And then um, I decided I was going to back some of them in alcohol ink, my black alcohol ink from Ranger. So I did. I backed these. But anyway, it's going to be a short video. Um, let's see what we got here. And it worked. See that? Looks like I might have swirled a little too much. So when you're swirling, just do one pass. I did a couple. But I love it. I love it. Yay! I think that's a success. All right, let's look at these other guys. Oh, oh, it's so pretty, except for that gigantic blob in the middle. It's really pretty. I love the colors. And again, I swirled too much in this one, too. But uh, I think I will dig that out and then drill it out and put some UV resin in there and save this. Because I really like that one. Let's check out the hearts. Ooh, that's interesting. I do like the black background. These will make some pretty pendants or keychains. Yeah, this is cool. They're actually worked. And, ooh, that one. That's pretty cool. I like them. All right. Well, I've got um, another piece that I made in a previous video, and I ended up making a bracelet. Isn't that pretty? So, I don't know. Depending on how this one turns out when I fix it, I may make another bracelet. I had to do something with these gigantic lobster claws, and that's what made sense to me. <laughs> But anyway, you guys have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will see you on the next one, which I'm currently working on. Thanks. Bye-bye.